Yeah, Bianca, that constitutional amendment passed easily with more than three quarters of North Carolina voters voting in favor. And the language change it makes to the state constitution is small, specifying that only U.S. citizens ages 18 years and older can vote in our elections. But given that that was already the case even before this amendment, we're diving into what's behind the amendment being on the ballot in the first place and the practical impact that it could have on voters here in North Carolina. Now, the current state constitution, even before this text change, says, quote, every person born in the United States and every person who has been naturalized 18 years of age and older is able to vote. While some critics of the amendment are concerned that eliminating that specific wording around people born here could strip protections from immigrants who have gotten their citizenship, political experts say it's a political gesture more than anything. Proponents of the measure, meantime, say it's meant to reassure the public's confidence in our elections in North Carolina. And really just giving everyone a good feeling that we in North Carolina are trying to conduct elections uh, in the best way possible, that every vote counts uh, and that uh, people are, are voting and uh, their voice is heard. So, I mean, I think, honestly, what's happening is right there, they're saying, hey, this is um, just a political statement to focus on our frustrations about immigration and voting integrity and, and bringing the two of them together, right? That it's, it's, a, a, it's symbolic, it's a, it's a message statement. In North Carolina, not alone in this, we were one of eight states to include citizens-only amendments on the ballot this election season. And again, voting as a non-citizen in an election in North Carolina was previously and still is a federal crime. Republican state lawmakers, including House Speaker Tim Moore, were behind the legislation that put this amendment on the ballot in the first place. Coming up at 11, you're going to hear more about the fallout from this election, including how recent dips in uh, short-term interest rates are impacting small businesses here in Raleigh and what the economic outlook for those small businesses is moving forward as we anticipate some economic shakeups moving forward. We're live in Raleigh, Sean Coffey, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.